Yo, what's up? Doug Cunnington here. I'm going to show you how I'm going to hire a developer on Upwork. So this is the second video of two. And if you didn't see the previous video, I'll put a link here. Basically, I created a job because I needed a WordPress developer to help me get a sales page off of a particular page builder called Thrive Architect. Um, I was having serious issues getting, you know, simple changes to happen, like changing the font color or the size or a number of super simple things. I'm sure it's my fault somehow. There's all of these quirks in using Thrive Architect and I don't understand them all. So I tried to get help. I actually paid for a support plan. It's been over 24 hours. It's been about... Um, like 30 hours or so, I got no response. So I'm gonna try and get a refund on that. That said, I created a job posting in Upwork to try and find someone to help me. In a lot of cases, I hire writers or content managers or something like that. And I kind of know the process, I know what I need. I've tested it out, I've hired many, many people. So I know how to put the job posting in there. Now, in this case, I don't know exactly what I need. I don't know how to explain everything. I just kind of know what to do. So I'll quickly just show the job listing, but if you didn't see the video, you should definitely check out the full video. It shows my thought process, why I put certain pieces of text in. And you know the overall thing is I'm looking for an intermediate level. I want them to start, you know, basically soon. I tell them I have a sales page. I tell them what the page is. And then I tell them I'm looking for like an intermediate level. So that's the gist of what I'm going for. I did get a proposal from Mr. N, this gentleman here. So you'll see how I think about evaluating these specific people. Now, I'm just going to click on this, uh, I'm gonna dive in. So it looks like he's experienced uh, sufficiently. I did ask for a couple questions in here and they have a few, okay. So the, the one question I, I asked was, have you migrated from Thrive or any other page builder and just tell me about it? Not a huge deal, but I just was curious if they have. If they know Thrive, then that's a good thing overall but it's not required. So one thing that I mentioned in the job posting was I don't want to use another page builder because my assumption, though it may be incorrect, but my assumption is any page builder is going to have certain limitations and I just don't want to deal with it. So I just want to have a straight up HTML page that I can edit I'm not necessarily afraid of code. I don't want to like sculpt the page with CSS. I want that to be done for me, but I want a simple page and I want to be able to edit the text without spending too much time. I was getting really frustrated with Thrive and um, I'm done with it. Okay, so I'm done with it and I don't want to use another visual builder. Now, the reason why I'm emphasizing this a lot, I put that in the job posting that I don't want to use another visual composer. I don't want to use any kind of page builder. I don't want it, right? So unfortunately, this gentleman, Mr. N said, we can use visual composer to build a, the same page and you can make edit, edits to it as well. I have three years of experience and this told me that he didn't read my damn job posting, right? So I said, <laughs> like, the attention to detail starts at the beginning, right? So if they didn't read the job posting, that's bad. Now, I don't put those secret words in there. Some people say leave, um, you know, one of the Easter eggs that someone has to find to actually like get the um, the job. So I could have, you know, I could have added the word uh, or added the sentence at the end of the job posting and said, say the word pineapple in your reply and I'll know that you read it. I don't think that's necessary because I ask like specific questions relevant <laughs> to the job posting. So I'm also really particular. So I put enough detail in that if they come back with the wrong proposal, right? 
It's not good. Now, the thing is, I got an open mind and, you know, I was like, hey, you know what? Thanks for applying. Can we do this without the visual composer? I don't want another visual builder. And then we go back and forth, but the damage is already done. So he says, yeah, I could kind of do it. Um, I think so. But damage was already done. I could tell he didn't read the job posting when I told him to, you know, <clears throat> when I told him that it just really wasn't, um, I didn't want to work with him more. Okay. So that's straight up. Now going back, um, there was another person that applied here recently and you know what? I don't think I even got to look at it, but let's take a quick look. So they are experienced. They said they've, they've migrated from Thrive to other solutions in the past and I could check it out on this particular page. So that's good. You know, I, I didn't look at those, but that's good that they did it. It says they know a lot of stuff here. All this stuff is good. They have experience in various different page builders and it sounds pretty good. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so all that sounds pretty good. I maybe would have gone back and forth and seen what was up with this guy. However, a another gentleman contacted me um, just sending me a message and it was this person here, uh, Gautam. And uh, I checked with uh, Gautam and he said, hey, it's cool for me to share our conversation here. And you know, just straight off the bat, I won't go through everything here because we went through uh, several things. Oh, and he sent the proposal, but since I hired him, uh, we didn't see that over there. So he gave me a lot of information about his Thrive expertise, which is great. And that said, I asked for suggestions in the job posting. He gave me three suggestions, one of which was one that I asked for, which is good. So it shows he thought through everything and it sounds like... Uh, you know, he understands what I need. I also said, great proposal and thanks for reading the post. Um, we go back and forth quite a bit. Again, I won't, I'm not going to belabor it, but you know, a couple things I made sure that he knew what I wanted and that he knew that I wanted like an HTML page with custom CSS. And I want to be able to edit it. I want to edit the HTML in my WordPress editor. That's what I want. And I believe that the page is going to load faster. Fingers crossed that it's actually going to load faster. And the thing is, he like did a little research and checked some stuff out on my page. He even uh, got them even came back with suggestions on why I had issues, you know, changing the font and, and changing the text with Thrive, which is really good because he told me that stuff for free. And by the way, I opened a Thrive ticket um, in their support system and they didn't, they didn't respond in 30 hours, right? This guy, I didn't even pay him anything. And, uh, he was answering questions for me. So anyway, he's on it. I hired him, um, paying him a hundred bucks and it sounds like he has a good handle on it. It sounds like he could finish it really fast. I mean, I wasn't even thinking I was going to be able to take care of this until like, um, like a month or two in the future. I was like, there's going to be some back and forth, but if he could finish it in like a day or two, that is amazing. And I may be able to, you know, use his version of the sales page, like flat HTML, no fancy stuff in, you know, like days. So really impressed with that. And hopefully fingers crossed, everything will go well. Now I will tell you, um, I am paranoid. You probably already know that I'm paranoid. So I, before he even started working on it, I pulled a fresh backup of the site, right? So that's super important. This is a production environment for me. I have students on the site. So I pulled a backup. So worst case scenario, I could restore the site from backup if he somehow, you know, makes the server explode, which I'm sure he won't do that. Um, but if he makes some mistake or something, I have a backup from before he started using it and should be good to go. So that's how I go through hiring someone. And, you know, like I said, fingers crossed, everything's going to go well. If you have any questions about hiring people on Upwork, uh, leave a comment below. And if you are brand new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe if you're looking for these sort of productivity tips or hiring freelancers or whatever.
Thanks.